Morning guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to the Free Hammers. It's Luke here, how are you doing? Bit of a random video, be a bit a bit about the game tonight and then a bit about some of the news that's out there. I thought I'd do a video because I haven't done one for a couple of days. And um, just to say thank you really as well to start the video, we hit 4,500 subscribers. So I think it's about 490 away now from 5K, which would be brilliant if we can hit that. Uh, you know, some point later in the year. But yeah, big thank you just to start the video. So tonight, guys, by Leverkusen, 2 0 down in the leg. Um, it's going to be tough tonight. I'm not optimistic at all. I'm actually really pessimistic about this game. The only little bit of optimism is we see Jared Bowen in training yesterday, so I've got a feeling he's going to come play or at least come on at some point in the game. Um, David Moyes has got to come up with something to not only score a couple of goals but be able to stop them scoring on any counter against us. Um, they know what we're about, we know what they're about now. Um, obviously they won the league the weekend, so they're on a real high. Their fans are going to be buoyant, you know, a carry on the party in another country in England. Um, it's going to be so tough tonight, it really is. Uh, first goal's massive in this game. If we get it and we got it early, I'm talking, you know, within 25, 30 minutes, it's game on. It really would be game on then, because the place would lift. Um, if we go a goal down early, it's, it's game over. Or if we go a goal down at any point, you know, before um, we've scored, it's done. The tie is absolutely done. The only thing that gives me hope, I will say, is funny things happen. They do. You know, a re early red card for them, a penalty for us, an early goal for us. You know, big Tom Socek. You know, the lamppost himself comes up with a goal, you know, like he did against Seville. There's things that can happen, but I, I can't see it. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Do you know what I can see potentially tonight? You know, this this is what I think, if it was the best situation, obviously we went through, but I still don't think we go through. I think we win on the night. I think maybe a 2-1 win or a 1-0 win. We somehow managed to stop them scoring. We get the 1-0, but we don't manage to get the second. Or we don't manage to get enough goals to get us through and we go out on aggregate. That, that's what I think is going to happen. Um, if Ariola is fit, I would put him straight in. I do. I think he's been so important. Not that Fabianski's done much wrong in the couple of games he has been back in. But yeah, if it was up to me, I'd put our best goalie in and just play the best team and just see what comes. See what comes, honestly. Just see what happens. It's going to be tough, tough, tough night. Um, there's a couple of little bits of news. Krotinski's uh, net worth has gone down from, I think it was something like 9.6 billion to 9.1. Oh, poor Geyser. He's lost a few few hundred million, but he's struggling to put food on the table. 9.1 billion net worth. Um, I don't know what effects that does to West Ham or whatever. Um, but yeah, that was just some little bit of news out there. Just a little slight reaction as well. I know Gonzo did a video on it yesterday, but I watched the same podcast as well. Just didn't get time to do a video about it. Um, the Allardyce and Pierce one. Yeah, I was I was really disappointed in Stuart Pierce as well. I think you know, as Gonzo said, you know, for someone who's been working at the club that many times, and he was a real favourite of mine when he was at West Ham. I remember him breaking his leg. I think it was against Southampton, and he was stamping it in the ground, ready to carry on playing. Like he was a proper hard gazer. Scored one of the goals. Of, Went nutty against as well Tottenham um, in that FA Cup game. We actually lost, but it's one of the maddest I ever remember seeing Upton Park go that, that day. Um, yeah, you know, it's, it's all the David Moyes, you know, just giving him all the credit and all that stuff. And of course, Allardyce is going to sit there saying about, oh, that's good and uh, tippy tappy football is boring and it's, uh, defending is an art form, which it is. But you know, you just uh, pointless. Don't even listen to it, guys. Don't waste your time listening to it. It just winds you up, you know. But it's just a little old West Ham talk, and you know, West Ham need to be grateful for what they are. Blah blah blah. Just don't even bother with it. Um, yeah. Apart from that, guys, like I say, um, season defining day today. It really is. If we win today, amazing. We go into the semi-final, and. You know, 
massive chance of going on and winning it if we if we were to beat them. If we go out, I think it's season over. I really do. I think the teams below us, Chelsea, Newcastle's, will get better results than us. And um, I think it could be the end of the European run for at least a year. Maybe two, who knows, depending on how good this new manager is and what he can bring. But you would expect those clubs, you know, that would traditionally make up the Sky Sports top six, probably top seven now, maybe even top eight. It's going to be hard to break in there. It really is. You know, you need to have good investment, good product, good manager. You might have a chance, like what Villa's done. But it's not easy. It's not. Especially where we're going to be losing Pakatar in the summer. Maybe some rumours that Caduce could go as well to Barca. So, enjoy it tonight, guys. You know, win, lose or draw. Enjoy it. It's been a great journey these three years, four years. Um, you know, all you boys have had some great day trips and, and girls. But yeah, it's going to be tough tonight. Tough, tough game tonight. I'm trying to think if there's anything else to talk about. Oh, oh I've got to end the video with some happiness. Uh... Arsenal are out, the Champions League. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Love it. If anything's going to soften the blow tonight, it's the fact that they've gone out. I hate them. I hate them. It's beautiful. Any talk of this Bowen and Saka and Foden and Saka. Saka is awful. I'm sorry. He's awful. He shies away and then he does his little limp whenever he doesn't, you know, the games don't go for him. Oh, it's beautiful, beautiful. Long might continue, and hopefully they proper fully bottle the league. You know, there's still a chance they could win it, so I'm not getting too excited about the league yet. But yeah, oh, I love it. I hate them, absolutely hate them. Don't wish them any luck at all. Hope they uh, never win a thing, honest to God. Um, yeah, that's it for me, guys. Like I say, really random video, but it's just more of a catch-up with you guys, and like I say, enjoy the game. Come on, you wines, keep believing. Let's go.